Okay guys, this short video is going to be about how to figure out the velocity final of a ball that is dropped from a ledge or a cliff a building, uh, the height of that building or cliff, and the acceleration final. Okay, I'm going to go through it kind of quick because we did practice it in class today. I'm just going to show you how it works. I'm not going to explain so much about why. We're just going to show you the equations here and uh, which ones to plug in. Okay, so V final. We know that the object that travels downward going to accelerate downward at 10 meters per second squared. Right, and I gave you that over here. That's G, right? That's G. Okay. And uh, G also equals A. Okay, this is the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so I have this equation, A equals V over T. Okay. If I need to solve for my final velocity, I would multiply T on both sides. This is the equation I'm going to use. AT is equal to V. AT equals V, or GT equals V. You can turn this into a G if you want. It's fine. G. Okay, so G, my value of G is 10. The amount of time it's going to take me, I have no problem. It's my time, 10.5 seconds. Okay, if I multiply that in the calculator, I get 105 meters per second. That's my final velocity, 105 meters per second. So my VY, which is in the Y axis, 105 meters per second. 105 meters per second. Okay, my dy, my height, is how I'm going to do height. I have to use the distance equation equals v initial times time plus one half gt squared. Okay, so I'm going to work that out here. D equals v initial times time plus one half gt squared. Okay, my v initial I'm going to plug in a zero because that's I'm dropping something. It's from rest. I told you I wasn't going to explain that much, but it's important. From rest equals zero meters per second. That's my initial velocity. Yeah, okay. That's going to cross this out, right? I don't need it anymore. So I have one half g is going to be 10. My t is going to be 10.5. Plug that bad boy in. Oh, and I forgot the square. A lot of people forget that. Don't forget that in the calculator. Okay, so calculator, I put 0.5. 10 times 10.5, and I get 52.5 meters. Okay. 52.5 meters. Remember, distance is measured in meters. 52.5. My acceleration final, you really don't need to do any work because what's the acceleration due to gravity on Earth all the time? Always pointing downward, force gravity, right? It creates an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared is equal to g, right? The force gravity creates that. Okay, cool. All right, let's move on to the next one real quick. Time to reach the bottom of a cliff if it's 12 seconds, all right? So my v final, how do I do that? So here, velocity final equals gravity times time. That's equal to 10 times 12 seconds. So I get 120 meters per second is my velocity, okay? or what? Okay, the dy, the distance in the y-axis or the height. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and cross that out now because it's from rest, right? This is falling from rest. So my distance is equal to one-half gt squared. Okay, one-half, my g is 10, t is 12, and that's squared, right? So that's 12 squared, 144 times 10 divided by 2, 720 meters. Wouldn't want to jump from this one, right? 720 meters. Okay. And a final, that's a dumb question, a trick question. Acceleration is always going to be 10 meters per second squared. Okay, cool. Any questions about that? Ask me. Uh, but now you should be ready to do the, the problems on the wall.